I'm sure you watched all of the movies so far, but is there something that was a discovery for you because, you know, you started making this series? I think what I discovered making this series was um, that nobody really knew um, what happened. And after making the series, we've discovered we still don't know <laughs> what happened <laughs> with them. Nobody that will knew. Come in the next season. Yeah, that's the next season. <laughs> season two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, that one is really controversial. <laughs> so yeah, somewhere you discovered that no matter whatever happened, there was a respect intact, and uh, yeah, that was like no one spoke beyond something, and I think that was uh, that was something heartening. Paran, I hope a mic is magically near you. Thank you so much. I want to ask you how Salim Javid's work has inspired you as a writer and filmmaker, and then I'll ask you my next question. Um, you know, I, I think all of us who grew up in the 80s and were children of the product of films that were made in the 70s, we all carry the legacy of Salim Javed within us. It's not about just being a part of their family. It really is as audiences, as viewers, the impact and influence of their film on all creative minds was just, uh, it's undeniable. You know, so um, it has influenced my work. Um, when I write scenes, I mean, it's not about emulating or copying consciously, but there is a certain um, darja, for the lack of another word, you know, that was given to um, to the parts that they had written and every character contributed in some way, had a, a personality, had a way of speaking, had a moment in the film and uh, I think that is subconsciously kind of come into the, the kind of writing that we do. In fact, a more pointed… In all of us. In all in of all us, of absolutely. Us. In fact, a more pointed question would be, is there a standout piece of advice that you perhaps might have received when you were undertaking your journey to be a filmmaker yourself? Um, the a piece of advice that uh, my dad gave me, he said, uh, we come from a long tradition where sons never listen to their fathers. <laughs> so please don't listen to me. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and do whatever you want. So I, I tried my best to follow his advice. Zoya, this is a question for you. Tell us uh, your earliest memories of watching Salim Sahab and Javed Sahab at work. Uh, my earliest memories are uh, of the spaces, I think. Uh, certain hotel rooms, the study in uh, our house now, which for my luck is my room right now, the study they worked in, I think it's the spaces, I think it's that A4 blank, full scap sheet and handwriting. That's my earliest memory of it. Tell us that one film that you watched of the duo and what effect did it have on you? Any film, like a visceral memory that's never left you. You know, I've watched uh, all their work umpteen number of times. So be it Shole, be it Divar, be it many films. But the one that I think I've watched the most that they worked on was a film called Kranti, <laughs> which I watched, I don't know, maybe like 300 times. I saw that film. It was highly entertaining. Um, I don't know if uh, they will be happy that that was my first choice of <laughs> Kranti. Kranti, Kranti. But um, no, all their work, all their work. I, I think, I mean, the, this documentary is aptly titled Angry Young Men because they brought their life experience, their voice, their identity into the character that we've all gr come to know as, as Vijay. And that's left like a lasting impression on all of us. But uh, I mean, all of it, their work is absolutely spectacular. It speaks for itself. Ritesh, I hope Mike is near you or I'll come to you. As someone who entered the film industry without any prior connections and has achieved so much success, how did Salim Javid's legendary work and mentorship influence or shape your creative journey? I mean, I think uh, you're right. I was I, I had no exposure to films till I obviously uh, we did Dil Jat hai. But uh, I think a lot of it came because from school, I remember Javed uncle used to be at holiday in working there. So I uh, used to go there because the school was right across. With, I used to hop across there with Farhan. And I, I mean, I would see some part of the process of what was the magic behind, right? So I think I got into it at that point. And then obviously you've grown up watching these movies in the 80s. And um, I think even today, like, and with uh, Salim Uncle, most of my interaction started after Dil Chathaya because I remember after the movie release, Farhan and me, for most of the films, would go invite him. I obviously knew the family, Sohail, Arba, Salman, all these people from Sea Rock days. So, I mean, there was a lot 
which was there. So, I mean, I think there is a lot of influence in the work today because you've seen the stories they wrote, the way that the nuances of the screenplay, the characters, the emotional connect they had at that point and it's even valid today. So, I mean, to be honest, even when I read a screenplay today, I try to find that connect and that emotion with which you can relate to and identify with. What do you think this is going to do to that partnership? Angry Young Man. Uh, you know, it's wonderful for us to partner with Prime, uh, Amazon Prime and you know, it's going to drop in 240 countries and to me personally, I mean, apart from uh, you know, it being a, uh, you know, them being a huge contribution to the film industry, when I watch the docu-series, it's you know, like two tigers who've done this beyond all odds. So there's a rags to riches story, there's a beyond all odds kind of story and uh, I think it's very universal. Their journey. Namrata, first of all, congratulations. Thank this you is so much. an outstanding moment. Yes, and it's it amazing is. that this is your directorial debut. I'm going to straight up ask you about this creative journey from the start. I know we may not have time to go through all of it, but tell us something about the start of it. Well, I mean, I've been an editor for 15 years now. And uh, when Zoe asked me if I would love to do this, I mean, if I would want to do this, I was like, yes, because it just seemed like a great subject. And I mean, it was much more than what I thought. It was so amazing. It was, it's been quite transformative for me. Yeah, it's been a great learning experience. And it feels surreal that it's happening, <laughs> that everybody will get to see it. We have poured our hearts into it. We have worked on it for a long time. And I hope everybody can see it and enjoy it. That's so wonderful. Congratulations yeah. again. No, I yeah. just saw an interview of uh, Mr. Manoj Kumar and he's taken away the credit from uh, Salim Javed. He said that he's written it. Did he? Yeah. Okay. So then we'll have a separate uh, documentary for Manoj. I think it's that very, <laughs> very honest him, honest of him that uh, he has made this confession. He says, I wrote it, I listened to it, and I went and went and went and went and went. So it's a... It's, but he did write it. What is your biggest takeaway from this docu-series? I, I think they're great. The fact that, you know, like Saman just said, what they were writing at that time, it was so reflective of what was happening in society. And uh, also, I think writers were treated quite shabbily at that time. You know, in the industry, they had no status. And these two uh, gentlemen came and just kind of broke all of that and just shatter, you know, the glass ceiling. And it's very inspiring. And I think it's inspiring to somebody who's not a filmmaker or a writer too. Because it's your genuine <coughs> rags to riches, uh, against all odds kind of story. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.